We all love the new and advanced aircraft, but what are some of the longest serving and the oldest fighter jets still in service within militaries? Of course, if a military wants to keep an edge on the battlefield, it has to operate the newest and most advanced tech available. But sometimes that is simply not possible. Budgets might be too small or the political situation too inconvenient to buy new fighter jets, so old ones have to remain in service. So keep watching this video to see 10 military aircraft that have remained in service with their Air Force operators for over 50 years. Up first is C-5 Galaxy. While aircraft like the C-130 can get the cargo transporting job done, sometimes you need something bigger, much bigger. Introduced to U.S. Air Force service in 1970 and just now hitting its 50th year of service, the Lockheed C-5 was and still is one of the largest planes ever built. Capable of hauling some truly massive cargo loads up to an insane 264,440 pounds nearly anywhere in the world, the C-5 is an indispensable heavy lifter, supporting American military operations wherever they may be carried out. Achieving exactly what it was set out to achieve, the C-5 Galaxy remains a workhorse of the U.S. Air Force with no real replacement in sight for the gigantic beast. The Salt Mirage III Introduced in 1961, the Salt Mirage is one of France's main fighter jets. The Dassault Mirage series has been one of the most prolific Delta Wing fighters in the world. Using the lessons learned from the less successful Mirage 1, the Mirage 3 first took flight in 1956 as France's advanced multi-role supersonic fighter. But the Mirage 2 would also be exported to the air forces of other nations where it would see a long service life. While almost entirely retired, the vintage Mirage 2 can still be seen in service, namely with the Pakistani Air Force although are currently and quickly approaching retirement. F-4 Phantom The McDonnell Douglas F-4 Phantom, following up on the flawed early supersonic jets in the U.S. Air Force's arsenal, the F-4 Phantom was a true monster that served in multiple roles to this very day. Shattering multiple world records when it first took flight in 1959, the F-4 Phantom was the most advanced fighter jet of its day. But even as time and technology progressed, the F-4 proved itself again and again as a reliable and incredibly capable workhorse seeing success in air-to-air -air combat, ground strikes and many other missions. While long since retired from U.S. Air Force service, the F-4 Phantom served several nations for decades and some even to this day. While being phased out by several current operators, F-4 Phantoms are still going strong in the Greek and Turkish Air Forces. Northrop T-38 Talon Flying modern supersonic fighter jets is an intensely demanding task and is one that requires countless hours of training in real-world scenarios. Introduced in 1961, the T-38 Talon helps fill that learning gap for new fighter pilots. Providing vital seat time for pilots in training, the T-38 is a very capable aircraft and a genuine supersonic fighter, but has been reserved almost exclusively for training roles in the U.S. Air Force. As a supersonic trainer, though, nothing has been able to replace the T-38 so far, allowing it to serve an extensive service life spanning from 1961 up until this very day with the U.S. Air Force. Mikoyan MiG-21 First produced in 1959, the MiG-21 is one of the longest-serving and most prolific fighter jets made by the Soviet Union. Essentially a massive turbojet engine with wings stuck onto it, the MiG-21 is brutally simple in the best way possible. Thanks to its inherent simplicity, the MiG-21s are incredibly economical for air forces to operate while still offering incredibly high-performance supersonic capabilities as a fighter or attack aircraft. Thanks to its ease of maintenance and use, as well as the massive production numbers of over 11,000 MiG-21s built, several nations still use the MiG-21 in active Air Force service today, including India and Romania. KC-135 Stratotanker Stratotanker is a gas station of the sky. It serves a very particular and extremely vital role in the U.S. Air Force. That role is air-to-air -air refueling, something the KC-135 has excelled at for over 50 years. Entering service in 1957, the KC-135 was based on Boeing's main airliner of the 50s, the 707. While the Boeing 707s have since been retired, the KC-135 flies on, constantly having been upgraded with more efficient engines and technology over its service life. Despite being an incredible capable tanker, the KC-135 is reaching the end of its service life rapidly. 
Replacements are being developed, but so far delays have meant the KC-135 flies on more than six years after its introduction. C-130 Hercules Introduced in 1956, the C-130 was designed to lift heavy cargo loads with over 40,000 pounds of cargo capacity and a massive range of over 1,400 miles for the normal C-130 or even 2,000 miles for the upgraded C-130J Super Hercules. Capabilities aside, the C-130 has proved greatly reliable and an ideal platform with continuous upgrades being carried out rather than retiring it. But perhaps the C-130 its greatest asset is its versatility not only carrying mixed cargo loads, but also being able to be refitted as the deadly AC-130 gunship, a force feared by anyone who may be on the receiving end of its cannons. Due to its reliability and versatility, the C-130 remains in service with many air forces around the world with no real retirement in sight. Lockheed U-2 the iconic Dragon Lady, Lockheed's U-2, was an icon of espionage and political conflicts carried out during the Cold War. Designed in secret by Lockheed Scott Works Top Secret Aircraft Development Division, the U-2 was a revolutionary aircraft that was unlike anything else when it took to the skies in 1955. With its sleek fuselage and long glider-like wings, the U-2 was capable of flying higher than any aircraft before it and snooping into enemy territory unopposed from its flights on the edge of space. But the elusive nature of the U-2 wouldn't last with one being shot down over the Soviet Union, bringing the secret project to public light. Despite being exposed and being made obsolete by successors like the SR-71 and spy satellites, U-2s are still being used in service by the US Air Force, undergoing many upgrades to take on the mission of battlefield monitoring and coordination. Boeing B-52 Stratofortress First produced in 1952, the B-52 is the legend of the Cold War. The B-52 is one of the most iconic and feared bombers in the world. Developed as a heavy bomber with nuclear capabilities, the B-52 has stuck around for so long due to its immense bombing capabilities and no-nonsense workhorse design. Using eight massive jet engines, the B-52 has incredible flight range, capable of striking targets almost anywhere in the world and laying down some serious bomb loads accurately on set targets. Entering bomber operations in 1961, the B-52 has undergone many upgrades over the decades but still remains a faithful bomber with service in the U.S. Air Force predicted to last for decades to come. Antonov AN-2 at first glance, there is nothing remarkable about the Antonov AN-2 looking like a standard vintage biplane. The AN-2's history of military use is shockingly prolific and long-lived. First taking flight in 1947, the AN-2 was designed as a multi-purpose cargo and transport biplane designed to be used from rough unpaved runways. This rugged design and affordable design made it perfect for the air forces of many nations in many situations seeing service with 20 nations through several wars, including the Vietnam and Afghanistan wars. While the rugged biplane saw plenty of action through the 80s, it is still a 1940s design and was gradually replaced by most of its operators. AN-2s do still remain in service but mostly in training roles, although are still used in active military duties today with North Korea. Well, that's it guys for today. We hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and share and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thank you guys for viewing and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.